Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of No Nonsense Whiskey Reviews with me, Vin PF. Uh, recently we've been doing um, a couple of space side whiskies. It's a very small, comparatively small region of, uh, of Scotland. Um, today we're trying something a little bit different on a lot of accounts, similar on some accounts, uh, in that this is a Highland whisky. Uh, this is the Old Pulteney Duncansby Head. Uh, this has been named after the lighthouse at John and Groats, and uh, as you may well be able to see, you may not be able to see, uh, this is exclusive to travel retail. It's the first difference. Now, this is not going to be widely available to most people unless you go to an airport, and even then, it has to be in that airport. Obviously, places like Edinburgh are going to be ideal for that. Um, obviously, a lot of European countries uh, and cities have whiskey attachments and will have stuff like this available. Um, I've decided to do this one third because um, this belongs to a friend and it's on loan so I would like to get this back to him and uh, get this uh, whiskey review done and we can move on to more things that are readily available to you the people. Okay so as said previously this is exclusively available on, on travel retail. Um, Old Pulteney is a pretty long standing distillery in Wick which is uh, right up in the Highlands, quite close to John Groats, which is considered the most northerly part of the uh, mainland UK. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it's presented in a beautiful red packaging and um, a pretty big package. Uh, you may have seen that it's actually a litre. Uh, this is pretty standard for, for travel retail. You can get some 70 sills, but um, to make their money, they usually put 100 sills on it and uh, charge a bit extra for it, I should say. So this is available for in the 50, mid 50 pound limit. Um, I can't give an exact price because it will change depending on your tax rates and the airport you're at and the currency you use or things like this. Uh, and I'm not sure what this particular bottle was paid for. So uh, let's have a look at the bottle itself and I'll take you around the package while I do it. And nice. And a little tag. There's the box itself. As you can see, it's, uh, it's quite amber in colour, maybe a bit paler than the ones we've seen so far. Uh, there's a lot of words on here, I'm not going to read all this out for you, um, hence the no nonsense bits. Um, but uh, giving the tasting notes and the appearance, it goes for gold and amber with bronze highlights. Agreed. Uh, aroma. Sweet spicy with hints of green apples, raisins and chocolate. We shall see. Tasting notes. Sweet and full bodied with notes of honey, chocolate and oranges. Rich and spicy with a long lasting finish. Non chill filtered natural colour. And that's good that they put that because sometimes um, whiskey companies will add a little bit of colour to change the look of the whiskey. So when you see it on the shelf, you think you might like that. Um, it's a, bit of, it's a bit of a thing, you can usually get the information from the bowl. Let's get rid of that for now. Right, it even gives you the latitude and longitude of the lighthouse. And a little bit of information about the lighthouse, I'm sure if you want to know more about that, you can check out Google. Now, uh, Old Pulteney itself, I've had a few of their whiskies now. I had a bottle of 12 year to myself and I uh, make a point of trying upwards from that. I think I've tried up to the 21 year at festivals and uh, they've always been a bit of a favourite of mine. Um, they're, they're very good. You really get a sense of, of being kind of by the sea when you drink Old Pulteney. Uh, that might just be kind of a mental thing, a uh, subliminal thing, but uh, still, nonetheless, that's the association I get. Uh, let's go around the bottle a little bit. Now this is a 46%, which is the highest percent we've had so far on, on the show. Uh, and this is, again, a mixture of bourbon and sherry casks. That's where I said about the uh, similarities. Um, we've got the tasting notes on here again. I'll run through them while I'm trying it. And uh, again, just reiterating that this is a litre. So if you compare it to the 70 sills, get for between 30 and 40 pounds it's relatively comparable okay so let's go straight on to 
nosing and trying the whiskey. Have a little pour. after all. Okay, so going by the bottle, I mean, yeah, obviously it's golden brown, bronze highlights, this is fine. Now, with the aroma, I'm getting I'm getting like the, the sweeter notes, like the sugars and things that I've talked about previously. But you also get this kind of like like saltiness. This and caramel is a, a, a big flavour, a big overarching flavour for these whiskies. Personally, I don't get the apples, raisins, and chocolate. Let's try a little bit. Well, it's even 4% stronger than what we had last time, 40%. You really get that extra alcoholic taste. It's certainly not as smooth as, certainly not as smooth as the Avalor or the Glenfiddich. That certainly doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Um, it tastes pretty good right off the start. It just takes a little bit more concentration to peel the flavours back. Now, on the tasting notes, it says sweet and full bodied with notes of honey, chocolate and oranges. Now for once I can actually pick out one of those and that's the oranges. Definite citrus flavours flowing over, and that's a really nice thing to have for a whiskey, especially if you're looking to move on from what we've had previously, like with the uh, Glenfiddich 12. Very simple whiskey. This has a little bit extra complexity to it that allows you to to test yourself and see what you can pick out. Well, I mean, in terms of the finish, the flavour stays there forever. My, my tongue is still tingling now, uh, and that's a, that's a good thing to have. You want to enjoy the whiskey from the moment it hits your nose, all the way through the tasting, the swallowing, and then the flavour afterwards. If any one of those is bad, then you're not going to like that whiskey, no matter how good the rest of it is. You certainly don't want to struggle to drink it. And I think this is a, a, a prime example of something that's just ever so slightly more complex than your basic stuff. Okay, so to conclude, I think this is a uh, pretty damn good whiskey. Um, in comparison to the other old pompies I've tried, I, uh, I really quite like the 12 year, um, and I think that comes in at around £25 cheaper than this, which is almost a whole other bottle of whiskey. So uh, certainly if you're at the beginning stages of your whiskey career, try out the uh, old pompie 12, but um, if you're a bit further on and you've tried a load of other whiskies and you're looking to, to expand more and you just happen to be in an airport and looking for something to buy, I don't think you'll struggle too much with this uh, when you're looking through the hundreds of whiskies you can buy, especially in UK airports. This one is, is a good one, you know, I've, I've tried a few now and uh, it's a good example of Highland whisky. Okay, so that's the end of episode 3 of No Nonsense Whisky Reviews. My uh, first entry from retail exclusives, travel retail exclusives. Uh, I've got a few more of those coming up that I've picked up at various airports I've been in, uh, ones I've actually paid for as well. Uh, that should by no means take away from, from this one because I didn't pay for it, but uh, that always it makes a big difference I think, especially if you've not had to pay for a whiskey, it might just taste better to you. Um, I certainly know the person who bought this is not a huge fan. But uh, I think if you happen to be in an airport where this is and you've got 50 quid burning a hole in your pocket, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, then certainly take a punt and buy it. 
by all means um, ask one of the staff if you could try it. They, they'll probably have a bottle of this open. You can have a, a little, little shot of it and have a go. Um, airport time is any time, so 9am is a great time for whiskey in an airport. And uh, by all means, see what you think. Um, if you've tried this whiskey, then please let me know in the comments below what you thought. Uh, especially if you like other travel retail whiskies, let us know what you've bought and uh, what you're looking to get. Um, likes are always appreciated as well as shares and I'll see you again on another Manos Whiskey Review.